Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. We have a new loading screen to talk about related to summer heat. And we're going to do a market outlook video because this is Monday. We always do these on Mondays. We take a look at the market upcoming throughout the week this week. And we've got more content coming from EA Sports in um, the promotion called Summer Heat, which is EA has been promoing for the last few days. And this is the first point that I want to make. Not a lot of times does EA, they've done it more this year, um, but not a ton of times does EA put a loading screen out four days before a promotion, actually more than that, five days before a promotion is actually going to start. They put the first one of these was out on Friday, the first summer heat loading screen, five days before the promo is actually going to start. EA puts out a loading screen and they start to, you know, advertise that promotion. A lot of times when they do that, they're really trying to push the promo. Uh, and they're really trying to push this promotion. So I would expect another couple loading screens on Monday and Tuesday as a part of our content because they've kept updating this for the past two days over the weekend for Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday's loading screen is this one right here with even more little tidbits of information as you can see here. So we've got player SBC, player moments, and flashback item types with the summer heat card design and then kind of folded behind you can see on these cards, we have a flashback card design. We have the foot miss card design, player moments, and ultimate scream. So this is really starting to look like a some sort of a re-release of SPCs or stuff that came out at some point during this year. And again, this is making me think more and more that this summer heat promo is basically a rebrand of footies because a lot of what happened last year during footies was we had the best of SBCs, which were re-released. So this is, I'm really, really, really starting to think in, uh, to think that this is actually going to be footies just rebrand rebranded using, using a different name. Um, of course we could be totally wrong. Who knows? Uh, but that is what it seems to be based on this loading screen um, and uh, these prefer these supposed SBCs that are going to be re-released. It looks like some sort of scream, player moments, flashback, and foot miss SBCs are going to be re-released at least during this you know preliminary or first part of the summer heat promo. It looks like based on this loading screen. So. Uh, of course, if this is an SBC based promo, we're going to be looking a lot at SBC cards, right? SBC fodder for investments, for linking and stuff like that. The only problem is SBC fodder right now in this game is ridiculously expensive because of all the SBCs that have been coming. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit today, but I don't think this is an investment at the moment right now. One thing I do want to talk a little bit about is to start to cover what footies looked like last year. So if this promo is actually footies, I want to just spend a tiny bit of time looking over last year what happened and talking about it. So last year what happened during the voting stage of footies, you got a player pick with three items. You picked one of those, sent it to your club, and that was your vote, right? And they did five different weeks of this. For, so there are like five different cards um, that you were able to get as footies SBCs. So you vote on the card, right? You send the loan version to your club. And then when the actual winner is announced two days later, their SBC is put into foot. And that's why the SBC fodder is important here because you'll be able to invest and possibly make some coins off of that. But of course, it's an SBC. So EA is trying to drain coins uh, out of your club still in June of this game. Still, they're doing this um, by putting out these footies SBCs, which is the probably the highlight of the usual footies promo. They also had best of packs uh, and there were separate batches that were released last year. So that is something we could see this week in FIFA as well. Last year, what they did was they did, they did um, a, a batch with like foot birthday, road to the final, and like team of the knockout stage. So like that was batch one. Then batch two was like some tots cards, and they had like headliners in there, I think, and then maybe future stars or something like that. And then batch three was a combination of the best players from those two. They put all of those back into packs for that third week because this is a this was a more than a three week promo, but they. they uh, this was like a month and a half almost, actually. So it was a two-week period. Batch one was two weeks. Batch two was two weeks. And then batch three uh, was two weeks. So it was a six-week period in total for footies last year. And then this is the part that we're seeing from the loading screen uh, that we just looked at. The best of SBCs. They basically re-release SBCs that were very popular earlier in the year. They release them at a cheaper price uh, because it's later on in the year. And if you haven't done them, you probably don't want to pay full price at this stage of the game. So, and especially after team of the season, when those cards that were released earlier 
do not live up to par stat wise uh, you do have a chance to complete some of those SBCs. And then they did a loyalty pack as well last year during footies with some weekly objectives. But uh, we were talking about this on stream tonight, on the Twitch stream. There are not a lot of... How many re reward packs have we had this year? One? I feel like last year during FIFA 19, we had multiple reward packs. Like at least two or three. We've only had one this year so far. So I would expect some sort of reward pack as well this week with footies. It would just make sense. Uh, if they would do that, but this was uh, the other SBC content that we got on Sunday an 84 rated squad for this for basically the cheapest 96 rated card in the game fodder wise unless you're an Otteries fan or you like a striker that can park it right in front of goal and just turn and shoot. Uh, that's a big body with a lot of strength. This is your guy. Don't think a lot of people are going to do this for, you know, use him in game uh, unless you're an Otteries Spanish fan or whatever it may be, but uh, that is a the cheapest 96 rated card in the game. So that's almost SBC fodder. If you think that you will be completing very high rated SBCs at some point during out throughout the rest of the year, that could be something you maybe craft, but I would not encourage you doing that SBC out of pocket because that's an 84 rated squad. And look at how much some of these 83s through 86s cost, man. 83s are all still about 3k, except for the ones, you know, that don't link to anybody that are always the cheapest. 84s, though, are all 5K. The, the good ones that link 7,000 coins for Ndidi, 7K for Gundawan. All of these SBC fodder cards are just crazy overpriced. And I don't think this is going to go lower this week that much unless we get some sort of tradable pack supply from EA, whether that is the form of a pack SBC um, or uh, packs in the store with something in packs that people would want to open packs for maybe Wednesday. Um, but what footies usually is, is that it's a SBC based promo. So EA, uh, is definitely calculating this perfectly. If they want SBC fodder inflated in order to drain more coins off this game, um, in June, by the way, that they're worried about in the last two, three months of this game cycle, when the game is going downhill, they're still worried about trying to suck every living dollar out of people's pockets playing FIFA by sucking a lot of coins off the market and making people do SBCs when these cards are inflated. Uh, if that is EA's plan, which I think it wholeheartedly is, they are executing that perfectly right now because SBC fodder is very inflated, uh, especially on the lower end because of all the, the uh, squad building challenges that we have been given earlier this week. So this is not investable in my opinion. If it does drop before Wednesday, then we'll possibly be able to look at it because again, footies and what we're seeing based on this loading screen is a very uh, SBC based promo. So um, what I would say to that is just keep an eye on fodder. If, if you have some in your club still, honestly, I might sell it because they could, they could very easily uh, drop some SBCs later this week. I don't know what kind of SBCs it would be. I'm honestly not expecting any content until Wednesday unless EA is going to drop something. I don't know what it would be, but until Wednesday, I'm literally not expecting anything for this week. But let's let's fast forward to Wednesday because that's the date that basically everybody on this game is looking for. Uh, today and tomorrow, we literally don't even know what's going to happen. It's kind of weird being outside of a promo for once um, because we've been inside of TOTS for the past like month and a half. That is a bit weird, but... Uh, Wednesday, what can you expect to see on Wednesday? If this is the footies promo, are you going to see panic selling on the market? I really don't think you're going to, unless EA is going to be putting a lot of high tier, high level cards back into packs. Like if you see like these types of tots cards or some of these foot birthday cards, really meta cards, if they put those back into packs, uh, that could possibly make people want to go out and spend FIFA points, which still at this point of the year would be definitely not a good idea for you to do. But, um, if they put cards back into packs, there would be some panic selling on those cards right away when people see that. And then, of course, just like what happened with Ultimate Tots, the cards that got into Ultimate Tots, they dropped, mostly dropped, uh, over the course that they were in packs because people, um, they just got more supply on the market. And that especially happens with cards that are not wanted as much. I remember last year, like... Uh, Christian Pulisic road to the final was packed so freaking often in those packs uh, that it was ridiculous. So that's something I guess you could see on Wednesday, but that uh, I don't really think that you're going to see a lot of, uh, of panic selling on the market. So, if, you know, and, and think about it this way too. A lot of the cards that are going to come out with whatever this new promo is, they are definitely not going to be higher rated and um, you know, more OP 
than a card that is already in the game for that specific person, unless it's a footies SBC. Because the again, historically, the footies promo and what this summer heat promo looks like is just a re-release. So like this promo today was 430,000 coins before the 6 p.m. content drop. He has now risen back up to like 460, 470. So if you want to buy cards for the weekend, if you do want to try to make some coins this week, if you're going to be playing next weekend's weekend league, um, since there are going to be ultimate tots in rewards again, especially for the high tier market, if there's still going to be people that are like getting top 100 that are going to be playing this game of FIFA after this, if EA comes out this week and says, hey, we're going to change rewards, you know, if they say anything about that, if they're going to put keep team of the season cards in rewards, which they very well could, um, then you would maybe see more people stay engaged with, with FIFA. But you might see some of the high tier icons and some of the higher tier team of the season cards take a rise in price, especially if it's a high tier tots card that is not in ultimate tots. Because this Thursday with rewards, these cards are going to get supplied again on the market. I told some of you guys today on stream that if you have one of these in your club, uh, I would consider selling because these guys, if you remember what happened last week during Ultimate Tots Rewards, the first round, a lot of these guys took a hit in price because uh, of the rewards that came out on that Thursday. I think that's going to happen again this Thursday, especially uh, as people are, you know, a lot of people have bought their endgame teams and they're playing with those endgame teams. And if these guys are getting packed again from rewards, there's just going to be undercutting. People are trying to get the coins and maybe with the new promo, it's going to be out. They will have a reason to get those coins. So I think if you want to buy any of these cards in Ultimate Tots, I would wait. They're going to go lower this week with tradable supply coming on the market from the elite and higher rewards that come out on Thursday. So that's one point that I haven't heard a lot of people talking about, but I wanted to mention because that is something big for this week that I want you to keep you guys in tune with. Another thing that is uh, actually not coming this week, but is coming a week from this week on Wednesday is team of the week. So this Wednesday is the 17th. Uh, and that is going to be um, when the a week later, the 24th is when team of the week cards are going to be coming back into FIFA ultimate team. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what EA does with that. If they put those cards in for weekend league rewards, or if they, they do not do that, but that'll be uh, coming later on this week, probably with some more information. And now I'm remembering, we are going to have some stuff to look out for in the game today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow, the 15th and 16th, is the Twitch Rivals. There is something going on on Twitch.tv with EA Sports. And again, I was trying to look this up earlier. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this tweet that I showed you earlier. Um, this is the tweet right here. I showed it to you guys, I think, in yesterday's video. Twitch Esports put this out, and it's the... The 15th and 16th, the best FIFA esports pros and the best streamers, one tourney. And it's going to be taking place the 15th and 16th. It's called Summer Game Fest on Twitch. So that's today and tomorrow. Um, maybe get involved with that. And there could be, I could see EA possibly dropping in some in-game rewards for this, if that's something they could be interested in. Uh, or possibly we could be getting SBCs in the game related to this event, if that is something EA wanted to do as well. That would be the only shot and maybe a tradable SBC that EA could put out like maybe it's a it's the um, the twitch rivals SBC pack that they put in this the, the store and it's like a, Do this SBC for like a 20k 25k pack or something that would be kind of the only thing that I expect this week But really we're just kind of waiting to see what happens on Wednesday And if a lot of you guys are you know not sure what's going to be coming if you don't want to really play FIFA this week Weekend League has got you kind of tilted your head's gone from Weekend League, which is what I'm feeling at the moment uh, I stopped at 14 wins because I didn't, I didn't even want to get to 17. Even with a team like this, the gameplay was just so unbearable and so unrewarding that I stopped at 14 wins instead of trying to push for maybe 17, 20, or 23 and just stopped there because to me, it was just not worth my time. And uh, you know what? To be honest, I saw so many people get good cards out of gold one last week that I figured I'm going to stop here and take my chance, see if I can get myself an ultimate tots card that is very, very good from reds. Uh, and speaking of reds, again, rewards, just to talk about this again, um, ultimate tots and I think rest of the world are going to be in rewards. So it's basically going to be the same exact rewards as last week. So it's not just going to be ultimate tots in rewards. It'll be ultimate and rest of the world, because of course, if it was just ultimate, then everybody would be having a chance 
at picking some of those super duper, um, you know, the 99s, Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Messi, Lewandowski, and those guys, because EA can't give us such an easy shot at those. Um, so there are going to be rest of the world tots and rewards this week. I would like 99%. I'm 99% sure about that because EA said the rewards are going to be the same. So that is what I would expect this week on FIFA Ultimate Team. But again, one thing you're definitely going to want to do is follow the loading screens this week. And I'm going to be here talking about it if we get any more information on this new promo Summer Heat that is coming out. Um, they're, you know, we're still two days out and they're giving us a lot of information on the loading screen about what they're doing. So we will see. We shall see what EA decides to do with the rest of this um, later this week. That's really all there is to talk about in the market outlook this week, boys. SBC fodder is high. I wouldn't touch it. Uh, man of the match items, if anybody really cares about those, they are in packs until Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK. We might get another set of man of the matches that could include the um, Serie A and La Liga because they had games that started up this week. And then also on Wednesday, I guess this should make it into the market outlook too. Wednesday, the Premier League is back, man. Premier League is back this week. That's actually big time. So we are excited about that. Uh, but honestly, until Wednesday, we see what happens. Um, it's just kind of a waiting game on FIFA Ultimate Team. With that, we can make sell-off. Again, if you want to try to make some coins this week, you can pr probably buy some cards Sunday night, Monday, as this video is going live. Check the market. Watch for some cards that are down. This Lala kind of interests me. Could you get burned by some of these based on what comes out on Wednesday? Would there be panic selling leading up to Wednesday? I really don't see that that's going to happen. Um, the only the only way you would get burned, right? Let's say you bought this Lala and EA would, let's say EA would put out a right back uh, footies uh, vote for Nelson Semedo. Then you might be like, okay, Nelson Semedo is a card a lot of people might want to get as a right back um, from a footies standpoint. So, that might be a card that would hurt this card's value on the market. So just kind of like the um, substitute method, basically, or uh, substitute a substitute value or a substitute good comes onto the market and another right back card that is very meta, very juiced. This card could take a hit or other right backs. So just kind of take a look around. And if you icons, especially if you see those get pretty low, um, icons are really good ones to flip from like Sunday night, Monday morning into later in the week because most people don't think about buying them until Wednesday or Thursday, um, even to flip for weekend league rewards. So like this Stoikov right here is 588. If I could see one at like 550, I would be a big time buyer on that. Just watch moments, icons, babies, middles, primes, literally across the board. If it's a meta icon, people like to use, it could be very flippable this week because people are still buying those. People are still playing this game, even though it is really starting to slow down. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, you know it's June when your coin total literally hasn't moved in like four days. And that was something I was thinking about tonight on stream. Not a lot of, uh, you know, at least for me, motivation to trade at the moment. That's for sure. Just kind of waiting to see what EA drops for us for this summer heat promo and what they expect for us to do on this game during the summer months, at least for the near future, um, without having the Euros going on, because that would have been some content EA could have released this summer probably. Uh, along with, you know, uh, football actually being played when as whereas football would usually be done uh, or close to done by now anyway. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. It's going to be interesting to see what Summer Heat brings. If you're hyped for it, smash the thumbs up. If you're not hyped, tell me why in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.